Okay, wait for this bus. I'm gonna try to do this one bang. Wait, do I love Nate Richter? I guess I love Nate Richter, just a little bit. He's my videographer of choice. So if you haven't had a chance, go subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, well, you're gonna miss a lot of how to's like this. So hit the subscribe button right now. For today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a food canoe. 95% of you guys probably don't like loud motorcycles, neither do I. No, but 95% of you guys probably don't ride brakes. But for the 5% of you guys that do, I'm gonna show you what a fufanu is. Also, loud girls. Loud girls are always good on, you know, in these beauty. Sorry about that. <laughs> loud noises. They like the cat too. So basically, a fufanu is where you position your tire on an edge. So let me show you on a curb here. You're basically gonna ride up to this curb. You're gonna put your back tire here, and that's where the brakes come in because you have to squeeze these bad boys so that it holds your tire. What's up, guys? Sasha. That is Sasha, puppy. I too have a Siberian Husky. Yeah, that one's a lot more tame. <laughs> yeah, Sasha would definitely probably sniff her up a storm. Anyways, so yeah, you have to position the tire on the edge at about a 45 degree angle, and then you're gonna yank off that and back into the transition. Usually this trick is reserved for the quarter pipe, but we're on the streets here, so you're gonna do it on a curb. So basically, you're gonna have to do the 45 on the edge here and just kinda like 45 off and just kinda like scooter your way away because you're not really gonna jump into any transition. All right, sorry there's customers. You know, when you have a store on Melrose, it's kind of popping. Nate has to go to work, so good job, Nate. If you don't have a quarter pipe at your disposal, the best place to learn it on is in a curb. So we have this little curb here, so I'm just gonna demonstrate how to position this here fufanu. Oh no, feel free. That's what we built you for. All right, so you're gonna come kind of slow, hop, slam the brakes, put it on there, and then blow it like I just did. Again, if you were in a quarter pipe, you would roll into it, but since we're doing it on the curb, you can't be as dramatic, but the concept is you hop, position the tire on 90, and then hop 90 off. For me, my brakes aren't the best, so I usually squeeze two brakes, but if you have like a shorter lever and you have really good brakes, then you can get away with one. It's easier to bunny hop when you have one hand on the lever versus two, but I'll demonstrate either way. There we go. Bam! Oh, I blew it again. It's so hard without there being something to go into. Oh, Sasha's back. Here we go. All right, let me do a better one. All right, right in front of the Sasha Husky. Oh, I love you, doggy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you always have to have a protagonist. All right, the other variation you could do is the abubuka, and that's where you kind of go vertical. There's no 45 degree positioning, and you fake it off. So I'll do one, even though this isn't a tutorial for the abubuka. I'll do it just because I'm here. Oh my god! <laughs> this is gonna be good outtakes. See, I almost broke my dick. I would have sucked. All right, see, there's nothing to jump into, so that's the hardest part about this. Nate, stop laughing, you're making me laugh. Problems that people usually run into are it's hard for them bunny hop with their fingers on the lever, they don't have brakes, or they're just afraid that the brakes aren't gonna work. So you might wanna put some soda on your rim so that it catches better. Once you have these pretty dialed, then you can take it to the bigger ledge, you can take it to quarter pipes, sub boxes. Hopefully I don't fall again. Oh, that was like a weird fufunu to fakie. I'll take that one. See, there's different variations you can do, and that was one of them. Oh, a nice couple here. So many couples. I feel so alone. So alone. I wonder if you could hear my heartbeat. You probably could. Damn it. I'm telling you, it's so much easier in a quarter pipe. <laughs> Maybe I'll have you do a fufunu. You don't know how to do them? I'm teaching you right now. All right. Remember guys, approach, aim at the corner, put your tire on there, and then hop off. Shit! <laughs> the 90 part is the hard part, see? I'll take that, and I'm gonna ride home away. Goodbye, guys. Like, share, comment. Wasn't the best one, but I'll take it. If I was in a quarter pipe, I would be... See, the point is, on a quarter pipe, you go up, you put your tire on the edge and you hop in and you put your nose dive down into transition. When you're doing it on a curb, if you do that, you can end up with no grill. And I like my grill. I'm not trying to ruin that. It's very expensive. You don't want to mess with that kind of stuff. I don't know if this tutorial is going to be very helpful since, again, none of you guys ride brakes, but now you know what a fufunu is. It's actually named after Mark Fufunu. He's a Scottish welder. 
I made that all up, but it sounded good at the time. I could try to do it. You want to try to do a foofanoo? Yeah, I don't care. What are you going to do, on the curb or on the yeah, ledge? Curb. All right, all right. Let's see if Nate learned yeah, anything from my tutorial. I will also be doing the commentary for Nate here since he's not mic'd up. But Nate's going to approach the ledge same way as I do, and he's going to put his edge on. Oh! oh. See, there it is, the problem. Nate doesn't know how to bunny hop with his fingers on the lever yet. Yeah. See if he does round two. Well, that was not bad. I'll count okay. that. You can do a better one where you hold it a little longer. My brakes aren't the best. It's hard. It's hard when uh, two hands, hopping with two hands. Yeah, that's, that's the catch right there. Oh, it's a fakie. Take it. See? All right. Another happy customer. The fakie one is way easier. Fufunu to yeah. fakie, yeah. A bubuka is hard because then you got to go vertical. Yeah. Try a bubuka. Dude, you were laughing at me when I almost ate shit. Your turn, baby. Yeah, and here comes Nate Richter approaching the Abubuka. Oh, see? That's why it was harder than it looked. Harder than it looked. Right. Oh, he's gonna try it again. All right. It smells like cat piss around here. It ain't me. You're not a cat. But you are a pussy. Hey, oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. No I'm telling you, a satisfied customer just like a McDonald's. I even have brakeless tattooed on me. Aren't you so cool? Let me wrap this up here. Right. I don't even know what I was gonna say. You know what, guys? If you like that how-to, do two things. Make sure to subscribe. The second thing is go through the other how-tos because I have a ton of them on my channel. And subscribe to my camera guy, Nate Richter, because he's a good guy. Also, he's starting a vegan account and a coffee shop or something. I don't know, he's some sort of business mogul, he thinks. But you know, support the boy, he's my boy. So that's gonna do it for me today. I gotta go home and do a bunch of work. So like, share, comment, subscribe. Tune in tomorrow. And I love you, love you, love you, love you. Bye. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it.